Today we're at MyBibleRegistration.com lessons today. We're on lesson 12 and it's, the title of it today is The Word is a Seed of Life. Wow, that there is going to be very amazing today to learn. And we have Minister Love on the phone today. She's uh, the Bible teacher for this series and I'm student. And we've been studying together now for seven years. And so we hope you enjoy this lesson today. Minister Love, take it away. All right. God bless you. Thank you for joining us, audience, along with Sister Sandy as well, as she stated. Wow, another good reason we're going to show you today on why I should study what? My Bible. That's right. You got a Bible. You ought to be studying it. And as Sister Sandy said, the reason today is because it is the seed of God. Notice what we said, seed of God. Now, the other lessons we've been seeing it as the what? Word. Word of God. Let's see how it could be the seed. seed of God. Cindy, when you think of the word seed, what comes to mind? Well, a seed is it's a beginning of something. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's a seed. Like in um, planting, we have a seed that grows into uh, a tree, uh, a flower. But in the Bible, the seed is the word. And it's planted in us, in our hearts and our minds. And it could either be rooted as a good seed or it can become a bad seed based on us, where we take it. And so I'm really excited to see what this is all about. All right, all right, praise God. So yeah, so when we think of the Bible, our Bible mm -hmm. from Genesis to Revelation, mm -hmm. that's 66 books, I always look at it like this. 66 books is like 66 different packets mm -hmm. of the little seeds. If you remember, I know when I was a little girl, I grew up on a farm. And when we would go to the farm store, for my grandparents to pick the seeds that we was going to plant for that year. Mm -hmm. Well, we would go to the bean store, and guess what? I would get so excited because I get to pick the beans, the corn seed, the bean seed, the tomato seed. So just imagine that you get to pick 66 different packets, and they all got different seeds, and they all going to give you different fruit. It's like the Bible. Mm -hmm. Genesis. Exodus, Numbers, all the way down to Revelations are those packets. But guess what? Those packets got seeds in them, though, doesn't it? Right. Just like the Bible. Every book of the Bible got seeds, what we call scriptures. Or in other words, what we call words. So every time you read a word, it's like a little seed, isn't it? Right. And that little seed, now when you read that word, it's now being planted in your what part, like you said, unsafe. Right. Are you seeing that? That's right. So let's take a look and let's see then. Why should we study our Bible? Because it's like a seed. It's little seeds and it, it, they need to be planted somewhere. So let's go to Luke. Luke okay. chapter 8. And Miss Love will read for us verse 11. Now everyone ought to know this because this is the parable of the sower. Y'all know the story of the sower? And he had four different types of soil, did he say? Correct. Look what Jesus says. He says, okay. Now the parable is this. Here's the answer. He said, the seed. Remember the seed that the sower was sowing? Mm -hmm. And he sowed it on good ground, rocky ground, mm -hmm. stony ground. Mm -hmm. Remember that story, the yeah. parable? Yeah. And remember every, every time he was sowing the seed, the sower, it was the same seed. It wasn't a different seed. It was the same seed. But when the seed got into some people, it didn't stay. Right. The devil came and took it away. Right. It wasn't because it was a bad seed. It was a good seed. The devil didn't want you to have it. Right. But some people, the, the, some people got that same seed. The devil can't come and get it. Right. Because they're what good ground. Right. Kind of like what we're doing today. So Jesus said, you know this can be apple seed and orange seed and pomegranate seed because he said. 
if you understand it. The seed is what? The word mm -hmm. of God. Right. What? Right. You mean the same word of God that we found in the other lesson that's pure? Right. That they say was very pure? You mean that word? Yep. You mean the same word of God that framed the world? That word mm -hmm. is a seed? Mm -hmm. Yeah, huh? Right. Are you seeing this, Sandy? Yeah, it's really good. And and this is Jesus speaking, too. So, yeah. Sure is. Because he's the sower. He's the one that's sowing the word in the people, but nobody wants to study their Bible. Right. He comes along, he gives them a reading plan, he sows it in them, and then some of them read it for a week or two, and then they give up. Right, right. And then some of them, they read it, and they stick with it. Like, a, uh, like you're going to lose weight or gain weight. You gonna stick with it. Work it out. You gonna stick with it. Some of them they read it from Genesis, from January, all the way down to Revelation till you get to December. What? Right. Are right. you seeing this? Yeah, just like we study in the Bible, his disciples. You know, they they hung with him. You know, in the end, and even some of them after when he was even That's gone. Right. Um, John and Peter, you know, they still um, are out there doing what they needed to do. So mm -hmm. it just it depends who you are, what you're made of, and what your belief. That's is, right. Your love for this word, yeah. Yeah. So all of these words, did you know there are over eight hundred and seven different y'all in the King James Version Bible? There are over eight hundred and seven thousand words in this Bible. Now just think, that's eight hundred and seven thousand C. And you don't want to get that of them? Wow. I want all my seeds. Right. But some people just want the Psalm seed. Some people just want the New Testament seed. They don't want the Old Testament seed. I don't want them. You can't you have them all. No, you need them all. They're all connected. You need them all. They're, it's like roots. They all connect and help you to be stronger in your exactly. in what you do. Because if you just read one part and not the rest, it, it, you're weak. You're going to be weak. You're going to get smashed because yeah. because they're they're all connected. You you just yeah. you need to keep reading all of it over and over and over because every time you do, there's something new that you're going to learn. So yeah, that's just like that's trying going. to learn to add and nothing else. You know, you're learning math. Oh, I could just add really good, but I can't do the rest. You know, you right. you got you got to have be well well seated instead of seasoned. Mm -hmm. Well seated. Um, so that you can be really good at what you do and serve the Lord with the best of your ability. Yeah, not no. Exactly. Not one seed, exactly. two seed, no. Well, you know, Sandy, that's going to take us on into the next the scripture. Next Where one. are we going to go now? Where are we going? All right, our next one is going to be, oh, going to be Genesis 3.15. Uh -huh. Genesis chapter 3, verse 15. Mm-hmm. And Sandy, can you read that for us and then share with us? What do you think this scripture is speaking to us uh, today? All right. And I will put enmity between thee and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed, and it shall bruise the head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. Yeah, we had this. So what part stood out to you, Sandy, and why? What caught your attention? Um, that's the seed, of course. Oh, okay. What yeah. was it about the seed that caught your attention? Very good. Well, it's uh, thy seed and her seed. So the seed, thy seed is God's seed, and her seed is her seed of reproduction, I believe. And um, and then it's stating that it shall bruise her head, and thou shall bruise his heel. So I know this is talking about Satan with um, Eve. Uh, okay, so we just got a few minutes. So let me just, yeah, you, uh, uh, do you know how I always say it, Sandy, you get the puzzle pieces, but men of love don't put them together. Yeah, Amen. Go <laughs> so this is what's going on. Notice where we are. We're in the very first book of the Bible. Right. Genesis. Genesis. We're in Genesis 3 now. Now this is after Satan, the serpent, that tempted Adam and Eve. Correct. And now God is now putting a prophecy out on them. Right. God is prophesying. And notice the key word that you saw was seed. Right. We're talking about the seed, right? Right. Now remember, uh, we ain't talking about no fruit seed. No. Seed is a person here. It's two people in here that the seed. This seed is talking about an individual. Notice what it said. Now this is God talking to the woman and to the serpent. Look what he said. He said, 
like, okay, and I will put enmity. That word is enmity. That means hostility. I'm going to put friction. I'm going to put so much anger between you, woman, and the serpent. Look what he said. He said, okay, this is what's going to do. He said, I will put enmity between you, me, now that me is the serpent, and the woman, and between thy seed. Who is thy seed? That's the serpent. Okay. That's the serpent. And her seed. So the seed here is generations or people. You're going to have good people, and you're going to have some evil people. Because Satan seed, the serpent seed, it brings forth bad people. Right. But the woman seed in the text, you're going to love this. This is Jesus. Oh, okay. This is Mary, a picture of Mary bringing forth Jesus. Okay. We know it got to be Jesus and, and, and the devil, Satan. Mm. Because God said that Jesus is going to be stepping on Satan's head. That's how his head going to get what? Bruised. Okay. And then we know Jesus is stepping on the serpent's head because the serpent, if you're stepping on somebody's head, what do you think that's going to do to your foot, the bottom of your foot? It's going to bruise your heel. Right. But who got the power? The one that's crushing your head or the one that just bruised the heel? The one crushing your head. You got it. So the woman sees her seed, which is Jesus. Okay. What? Ain't that what he just said over there in Luke? He said the seed is the what? Word of God. Mm -hmm. And then that ought to remind us of another scripture so many of us are familiar with. Mm -hmm. If the seed is the word of God and we're now seeing that this seed is Jesus, can we prove it that this seed is the word of God? Go to uh, go to John one one. Okay. John chapter one. It's said to read this for us and tell us, why do you think this now connects to what we just talking about? Seed and seed oh, being people, a person and being the word of God. Okay, John 1, 1. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. And the word is Jesus. So it's just uh, confirming what you just talked about. So there it is. And did Jesus say in Luke that the seed is the word of God? Mm -hmm. And now we're seeing here John is saying that this word is Jesus right. and God? Right. So then that confirms what God did in Jesus' day. That seed then is Jesus. Right. He is the word. Right. What? Are you seeing this? That's good. He could have, Jesus, God could have easily said, I'm going to put enmity between your word and her word. Mm. That, that would make sense. Because mm -hmm. it was the bird that got Eve them in trouble from the serpent, wasn't it? Right, right. And it's going to take God's word to get us out of this mess. That's right. So in other words, if the word of God is the seed, then we need to be planting it in our hearts. Right. We ought to be studying it. Right, so we know the difference. We'll know the Are difference. you saying that? Right. Otherwise, you won't you won't know the difference, and then you'll get caught up in, in all of the um, uh -huh. the lies. Yeah. Uh -huh. Wow. See, we got one, time for one more scripture. Where are we gonna go? What's that last scripture? Uh, First Peter what? One twenty-three. Sandy, can you read that then real quick and share with us what did you get out of this scripture based on what we're talking about? And audience, follow along with us. We want you to see what you get as well. Okay. It states, being born again, not of corruptible seed but of incorruptible by the word of God, which liveth and abideth forever. So this is just stating, um, clarifying what we just learned. Do you want to have corruptible seed, which is Satan and the earth? Or do you want to be incorruptible seed, which is by the word of God, which liveth yep. and abideth forever? So it's so simple. Yep. So simple. Yeah. Isn't this awesome? Did you see that? Right. So we got to be born again. Right. That means we used to be of the devil's seed. Correct. Hate people, mean, mm -hmm. jealousy, bigotry, racism. I mean, we just had all that seed. Right. But something happened. We got a hold of the word of God. Right. 
filled my heart when Jesus came along and sold that Bible into me. He knew I was worth good ground. What about you? Right. That's good. Really good. And now I'm a I'm part of the incorruptible. Did you notice the two words? Corruptible and incorruptible. Correct. Turn on your news today. Just turn on the news. And what do they say about the people that got their mouths open all the time? Corruption, corruption, corruption. No, but they say they're speaking the truth. They're telling you all this stuff is all true. You need to believe it. Watch this news. Stay in touch. Do what they say. No, it's not. Uh-uh. <laughs> corruption. Corruption. Don't waste your and, time. And, and many Christians have failed for the corrupted lives. They have. They've got sucked in. Yeah. But one thing about God, the truth always comes out. Yeah, it'll set you free. If you start reading that Bible Amen. again, you're yeah. gonna go, "Why did I get sucked into yeah. all this?" Yeah. yeah. Mm. Oh, Sandy! I, oh my God, we went we over that. Go. We one. gotta go, folks. No, no, like, this was so good. We may have to do a part two. This was good. Hey, listen, I'm in a salon right here at MindGuardWithRegistration.com. You may want to have to check out lesson number twelve again and again. <laughs> all right, then join us on our other website. Uh, with Sister Sandy bringing to you SourceRBCMinistries.com and BlackHoopMinistries.com will be there as well. God bless you all. Take care.